Let's take a look at web publishing. Now web publishing is just producing the images, the album art, and text files, uh, which can be HTML, PHP, or whatever. You define it in a template. So first let's go into Preferences and go over to the Publishing tab and make sure that web is checked here. And let's show the folder where it publishes. So this is the uh, Radiologic folder, the web folder inside your Radiologic folder, which of course is in your music folder and your home folder. And what we see here are uh, a templates folder and the album art is automatically published. So you can see that's happening here. The, the album art, uh, you can look at the documentation to find out what's what, but current art would be that and past art uh, is here and future art is here. Um, so you can use uh, a script to pick up the correct art for the tracks you want to show. But the main thing I'm going to be showing you right now is um, how web publishing works. Uh, what it does is it reads from a file and a template. You can make this any file you like, uh, PHP, .html, whatever. So I'm just going to do a text file right now. So I've got, I'll open up uh, text edit and bring up a new document. And what I'm going to do is uh, put in the replacement tags for some metadata. So let me get out of the preferences here and we'll go in the Radiologic DJ Help and we'll look at publishing and in particular file publishing. And what I want is the current artist and the current title. So that's the current artist and I want to put a space and a dash and then I want the current title and now I want to save that so let me just close this for a moment I want to save that to the f f uh, templates folder here so let's bring this templates over to here and we'll call it uh, now playing .txt. Save that in there. And the next time a track plays over here, which is going to be very shortly, we're going to see this actually get published and then we're going to actually do something with it. Coming up on the end of the track here, I actually have the players muted at this moment. And that track just started playing. So in the web folder here, we get a new now playing document. Now remember what was in the template and here's what it produces. So you could have any other text around this, any other constants that you like, HTML, any other text that you need formatted and wherever it finds these tags it will just replace the tags. So you can see the constant I had here was the space dash space. It put, put the space dash space in here and re replaced every uh, the tags in there. So that's basic web publishing. Now how would you get these uh, uploaded? Well you can do that with an Apple script. So I'm going to back up one folder. I'll go in the scripts folder and I'll look for now playing changed. And in here is an example. Uh, so you could remove the comments here, the two dashes. Whoops, went too far with that. And uh, compile and we can see uh, do shell script which goes to our music folder. This is the home folder music folder, Radiologic Web. And we use curl uh, and we uh, take the file we want. So in our case the file would be uh, now playing dot text or txt and then you would put in your server, uh, replace the user uh, uh, username here with your username uh, so it's, you know, using FTP and your password and it would upload this file. The script would actually upload this file uh, right after it got written out. So that's what that is. Right now I'm going to use this for something else though. Um, I am going to go back into my web folder and I'm going to toss this for now and I'm actually going to use my now playing uh, to indicate this will be used for LaudioCast. And now we're going to demonstrate LaudioCast real quickly. So LaudioCast is another streaming program. You can get it on the Apple App Store. It is free. It does uh, AAC, AAC Plus, and Ogvorbis. 
It does not include all the features like a, a NiceCast does, such as effects and an, a built-in IceCast server and that sort of thing. Um, and it also does not capture audio directly from Radiologic DJ. We need to pipeline it over to LadioCast. So that is what I'm going to do now. So let's la launch LadioCast. So you can pipeline audio using either Soundflower, look uh, for where to download that, uh, or Loopback. Uh, Soundflower is free. Loopback is pay from Rogue Amoeba. Uh, but the Loopback actually might be better quality. I'm going to pick Loopback for right now. And back here in DJ, I'm going to actually change my output to be Loopback. And hit OK. And at this point, we're not going to see any audio yet because I still have it muted. So I can unmute it. We won't hear it because it's going to be a pipeline now. So we'll turn the mute off. And if we look back over here, we get, we get audio here. Now let's look at uh, a streamer here. And in here, uh, we would be able to see the uh, metadata coming in. Um, this allows you to connect to an IceCast server, for instance, but we don't have an IceCast server set up. But I believe we should be able to actually see the metadata update if we tell it to update. So that's what we're going to work on right now. So, actually I'm going to close that for a second, go back to our folder here. We've got a LadioCast text file. This probably does have a TXT on it, and this should be updated to the current track. 2 and 1, and yeah, so that is current. So let's go back to the, f the scripts folder. Go back in the now playing changed. And I'm going to actually cheat a little bit, and I'm going to go to my own help file. Um, Radiologic DJ help. And I'm going to look at uh, recording and internet broadcasting, LadioCast. And I'm going to go ahead and steal this script. You can see here, this is the text file I talked about. I'm going to steal the script from myself. And there are only some things I need to change here. Um, my radiologic folder is actually in a different location, but normally you'd be putting your home folder name here. For me, it's going to be a little bit different. And I want to show this actually working, so we'll use what works here. And save. Put this over to the side here. Come back over to LadioCast. Um, take a look at uh, our... There we've got us two different streamers going on here. And let's try running this to see if it works. I think I need the TXT in here. Let's try that. I think I need slash volumes in here. Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, so I, and once I got the right path in here and actually got the file, which should be a lot easier for you, um, it actually updates the metadata here. And the next time we come up on a track change here, we should actually see the metadata actually change here. So let's advance a little bit and we'll let the track actually change. And we can watch as it changes in LadioCast. So that's how we used uh, web publishing to actually do metadata changes in uh, other streaming software, uh, as long as it's on the Mac. Um, it, this will also work for BUTT, B-U-T-T. Um, that's another free streamer that works uh, with uh, MP3. Uh, it also does not include a server, but it actually does encode to MP3. And in their case, they don't need AppleScript to actually update things. You can actually point BUTT towards the file itself, and it keep, will keep looking at the file itself for updates. So, Okay, so that's basically uh, web publishing in a nutshell. Really, you need to go to the help because... How you design what you want to do with this is really up to you, 
but I wanted to give you kind of a little hint as to how the whole thing works. <laughs> 